Hi everyone, today I am introducing something very, very exciting and I worked on this for quite a while and I just cannot wait um, for you to see what I've got to offer. We're going to be talking about the interference paints, pigments and sprays. These are from a Lumi range, so all the beautiful shines and shimmers you're expecting from Lumi will be here as well. Let me introduce you to our brand new interference range. I am going to start with our beautiful paints. These are Lumi paints. So basically, these are very, very low viscosity paints. So very liquid paints and they are perfect for painting your chipboard, for, um, for working on your rice papers and just for general painting as well. And these specific ones have been designed to work beautifully on black and also on white surfaces and to give you that incredible shine. These are white powders that have that second kind of hue and color. And we have five different colors. So we have beautiful gold, which is this one. Let me just show you how beautiful and shiny it is. Then we have the uh, red, which is this one here. We have the green, which I'm sure you know it's here. Then um, we have the violet, which is just here in center. And then that beautiful blue that can be, uh, can go into really deep um, navy blue. So we've got those. Um, they look beautiful on light as well. Have a look at this. Obviously they play beautifully with light. You could have this argument about is it blue or is it gold again? <laughs> Just look at that, absolutely stunning. Now the difference between any other uh, interference um, or iridescent paints like this and our paints is that these have white base. So that means that the vibrancy of color is going to be much stronger. Just look at those on light uh, background. Normally you cannot see these type of paints on light background, but here you can see them perfectly. And of course that means that on black they are going to be very very saturated beautiful colors you probably couldn't even tell that this is what it looks like when they are painted now let me just move that to the side the second product i wanted to introduce are the powders same premise same colors and these come uh, in the same type of pots so we have 10 grams of those beautiful uh, powders in there so if you are a diyer if you really like using your paste and doing all your own mixology this is absolutely absolutely perfect for you you can make your own sprays with those you can make your own paste with those by just using gel medium just use a little bit of gloss medium and you're going to have a very very liquid um, shimmery product so many different uses just have a look at this this is not a new technique but how effective is that beautiful blending this is a little bit little bit of a first mark just stamped down on a black card and with the powder brushed on top and then blended beautifully how gorgeous so we got five colors exactly same colors as we have in paint selection then the last offering we have are the beautiful brand new Lumi sprays. This is the very first release from the Lumi sprays range. We are going to have lots more colors, but I really wanted to start with the blending colors. The way I use these normally is that if I have a really, really strong colored uh, spray, for example, a dark blue spray, I can then use that gorgeous interference blue spray um, to lighten it up, especially if I'm working on a light background. I'm going to show you what I mean. But have a look at these, beautiful. They also have fixative inside them. So if you make your own sprays using the pigments, you're not going to have fixative. But with these, we are uh, having fixative inside. So you don't have to worry that this will go anywhere when they dry they are permanent now there is an amazing amazing and really exciting twist because our lumi sprays all of the sprays will come in our spray always bottles let me give them a little mix you may need to shake them a little bit to release that bowl have a look so this is your beautiful red which is just here if I just lift it, you can see that gorgeous shine. Then you've got the beautiful lilac. Then we've got the gorgeous green. So you've got lilac here, 
screen here. I'm just going to lift them up for you because they're so pretty. Then we have the stunning gold and then we have the blue. They don't look like much in the bottles. But of course, they're very, very effective um, when they are on any surface. Let me show you a quick project. Here is a project I've made with these and just have a look. I have the red one here and then the beautiful gold here. And that is blended with a darker blue um, color. Isn't that just so gorgeously effective? They also, you also have the red just on top here. And that just gives it a beautiful, vintagey but still shimmery look. Just look at that. Really gorgeous. And obviously, depending how you're looking at it, it looks a little bit blue, a little bit of gold. So if you've never heard of my Spray Always bottles, you may be wondering why are these bottles so special? The reason why they're special is because they do not have a tube inside. What they do have instead is a little vacuum pump and that means that the liquid is always pushed to the very top. There's a tiny little um, nib um, just at the bottom of the sprayer and the uh, vacuum is pushing the liquid to the top so at all times the liquid is in touch with the sprayer. That means that no matter how you're going to position your bottle, is it going to be upside down, side, sideways, your sprayer will always spray. So you will never have that situation when you have a half full bottle, a bottle with just a little bit of liquid and the tube is a wrong, in the wrong place for you to spray and then you're doing that dance with trying to get around and making sure it's in the right place for you to spray. Now, no more of these issues. Um, this will always be in the right position and you can spray upside down. I promise, just try it. You never, you're not going to go back to not regular bottles. Now these bottles are not locked to our product, so when you run out of the product you can just wash the bottle, reset it by just taking a brush and then pushing the platform down and then you can just fill it with any other liquid and then use it. These are absolutely amazing and the whole range of sprays is going to be fantastic starting with those gorgeous blenders. So let me show you some of the techniques you can do with the powders, paints and the sprays. So I have here a piece of canvas with a little bit of stencil paste on top and the sprays are particularly great when it comes to layering and also diluting some of the stronger colours. If you work a lot with mixed media you are likely to be diluting your sprays just to get that beautiful seamless blend. So how you normally do this, you take a really strong colour of spray and then you use your spray bottle um, to dilute the color um, and then just make it flow and blend beautifully um, with your other colors or with your background. That's a technique that works beautifully but what it does is sometimes you are losing the shimmer from your product. So say for example you would have a color that would generally match and remember we have five of those and you would be able to dilute that strong color but retain the shimmer. Wouldn't that be amazing? So let me show you. I've got this really strong color here that's really, really dark. I'm just going to pop that here. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to dilute this but add a little bit of shimmer on top. Just have a look. Can you see that? gorgeous violet on top so that just works beautifully I love this technique I love this idea and this way you're really not losing any shimmer you can probably see a little of that interference pink and violet just showing you here but you can of course use your sprays on their own so i've got a little bit of piece of paper this is already shimmery and i'm just going to give that a spray have a look at this that beautiful stunning color as i said it does have a little bit of that white base so it will really stand out so when you dry this Remember that once it's dry, it's permanent. Just look at that. Now let's have a look at the black card that does not have any shimmer. 
and let's use this beautiful red remember you need to shake these really well and have a look at that gorgeous effect so pretty and everything shimmers beautifully okay let's have a look at a different product I'm going to take a stamp and I'm going to ink this up with the uh, Samark. Okay. And then I'm going to stamp this onto my black card. Okay, give that really nice squeeze. Just making sure it will not leave any blank spaces okay that's fine and then what i've got is i've got our gorgeous powders i am going to take brush and then just dip my brush in the powder and then just add it on top and then i can brush it off and take a different color and i've got a little bit of blend going here take another color I might just put a little bit another one on top here and when I'm ready I'm going to take another brush brush any excess off and then just keep brushing it till it's completely out of that powder and when you're done with this just have a look absolutely gorgeous just take a dry brush and completely get rid of any excess of the powder and you're going to be and you're going to end up with something like this beautiful okay let's have a look at the paints so what i've done here i've got a chipboard and i've painted half of it with a black gesso and i left half of it untreated lumi paints are absolutely perfect for working on chipboard so let's have a look at for example blue so i'm going to take a small brush just look at that beautiful color really really creamy just going to dip my brush and I'm going to start painting it and I can take another color and I think I'm going to take that beautiful violet and add some of the violet and then blend them together and these are perfect for your color blending just look at that stunning effect now let's have a look at how this looks on a lighter surface so again I've taken a little bit of the violet and the blue and you can probably see that beautiful effect here now the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of the beautiful gold spray and then spray this handsome man here and just show you that stunning effect such a simple effect as well don't forget the sprays have fixative in them so they that will be a permanent color on this gorgeous little fella okay before i go i'm going to just add a little bit of gold to this and again this will change some of the color I hope you can see that gorgeous little gold hue so pretty you can change the colors you already have you can dilute the color without losing the shimmer so many different possibilities now we do have a little bonus which is so exciting along with our iridescent colors which are the light pigments with the hues I'm also releasing the most gorgeous vintage pink. Have a look at this stunning color and we have it in Lumi and in Lumi Spray. Let me show you how this looks like. I'm just going to grab a little bit of a chipboard and I'm going to give this a spray and just look at this beautiful gold it sinks into the chipboard in no time as you can see and it has the most beautiful color now with the lumi again just give it a really really good shake 
and I'm just going to take a brush and you can paint it and get very similar intensity of color. Absolutely beautiful. So this is uh, your gorgeous antique pink and it is releasing along with the interference release. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye.